Hi everyone, this is Douglas at PCC, and in this video you'll learn about weight-based dosing and other prescription adjustments and prescribing tools in PCC ERX. Now in previous videos we learned how easy it is to create and process prescriptions in PCC EHR. In this video we'll focus on some of the choices you make as you prescribe, especially dose and dispensing options, and the ability to use a weight-based dosing calculator. In PCC EHR, as you know, you use the prescribed component in PCC ERX. To create a prescription, I can select from my favorites, or I can type a drug name here. Uh, let's do a nice and boring one. PCC ERX quickly searches for possible drug forms that match my search. You may have noticed that my spelling for ibuprofen was very unique. A PCC ERX doesn't mind, it gives me what I want. Okay, so I pick the drug form, and PCC ERX presents me with some dosing statement options uh, based on the patient's age. Now, PCC ERX has a massive library of these age-based dosing statements. It helps me write the SIG, so I don't need to type it all in myself. Very powerful. I don't even use my favorites for many drugs. I just pick one of these dosing statements. I'm going to pick 600 milligrams by mouth every 4 to 6 hours for pain. I could have clicked the green plus, just create the prescription, but I want to adjust the prescription. You've seen a few examples of this screen in previous videos. Now we will slow down and talk about these fields a bit more. Up top, I see the dose and frequency. One 600 milligram tablet by mouth every four to six hours for pain. Uh, you can see that I could adjust any of those on the fly. And we'll do that in just a second. This section in the middle lets me do weight-based dosing and reminds me about renal or liver impairment issues, and we'll show off that in our next example. Here is the actual prescription, a 30-day supply, 180 tablets, no refills, and a date to fill. Then we see instructions to the patient, duration, place to select indications. Let's click pain to add it to the list. And I could manually enter start and stop dates. Now, you can make changes to any of these fields, and sometimes that will automatically adjust other fields. Here's an example. I decide, instead of every four to six hours, I want to put in every eight hours. Now, watch the dispense field as I do that. PCC ERX recalculated how many pills should go in the prescription. Okay, let's hang on a second. 600 milligram tablets are huge, right? And the over-the-counter version is 200 milligrams. I could go to three 200 milligram tablets. There we go. And now the prescription shows me it's going to dispense 300 pills. Okay, so it's easy to adjust these and the prescription will automatically calculate. Another way to adjust quantity is to use this days supply field. I can switch it to 15 days. Again, the dispense field automatically updates. Okay, so <laughs> ibuprofen is about as basic as a prescription can get. Uh, the point is you have lots of options to achieve your prescribing goal and PCC ERX will auto-calculate amounts for you. Let's do another example. Okay, I've switched patients. Uh, let's do a weight-based dosing example and talk about a few more cool tools. I'm going to type the drug I want. Once again, a couple of great things just happened. PCC ERX, check the spelling for me. Guess that I probably meant Amoxil, not Amoxol. And then it told me that's an old name. Not really used anymore. It's off-market. And what I really want is Amoxicillin. Uh, thanks, PCC ERX. Uh, so I picked the drug's form. And PCC ERX presents me with some dosing statement options based on the patient's age. Amoxicillin is a liquid antibiotic. Like many drugs in that category, it's often prescribed using weight-based dosing. So the options I see here are weight-based. You can see 40 milligrams per kilogram in two equally divided doses per day. Note that's per day, not per dose. And you can see right under that a little hint. That's the base strength of the order. Now, if I don't like working with weight-based dosing, by the way, I, I could click full product search and then I'd see less common options and I could just pick 250 milligrams every eight hours and figure out the rest in the prescription details. I could always just pick one of these and make changes I need on the screen. There's even a manual option up here. I gotta tell you, I never use the manual link. It's too much work. I want PCC ERX to fill things out for me, uh, but it's an option. So I'm going to pick that 40 milligrams per patient's weight in kilograms in two equally divided doses. 
Next, once again, I get the full prescription details screen where I can finish creating the prescription. Many of the fields look the same, but PCCERX does some math for me. It suggests that 10 ml by mouth every 12 hours is the way to go. How did it get to that suggestion? Well, it knows the patient's weight. That's right down here in the weight-based dosing calculator, 34 kilograms. Now up here in red, I can see it's thinking. Uh, the exact calculated amount would be 8.5 milliliters, but it knows the drug is dispensable in 2.5 milliliter increments, and it knows the equivalent dose range, so it says 10 ml. Uh, down here in gray, by the way, in the weight-based dosing calculator, I can see the result of this SIG. The patient would take 47 milligrams per kilogram each day. Now, I can change that to 8.5 ml if I want to, of course. And I can even decide I don't like how this is working out and switch to a different base strength for the order. Another thing I can do is change the weight calculation. If I haven't seen the patient in a long time, I might increase this number right here. Okay, that's weight-based dosing. As I made each of these changes, PCCERX has readjusted each of the fields and the dispense amount down here for me. As with the last example, I sometimes set the day's supply. It can auto-calculate for many medications, but I can also update it manually. Again, PCCERX lets me know when there's guidance for, in this case, renal impairment on this drug. I can actually click that and read about it. As we've covered already, I've got instructions for the patient, for the pharmacy, and also an internal note that I can use just for my practice. And I can add indications. Okay, I created the prescription. And down here in Review and Send, I can edit it if I made a mistake, or approve and send it. Let's do one more quick example. Okay, last patient, I gotta show you one more feature. Sometimes you don't wanna use any of the dosing, frequency, or weight-based calculation options that are offered to you. For example, what if I want the patient to take one dose on day one and a different dose on days two through five? I've got a six-year-old here with otitis media and I wanna prescribe azithromycin. I'm gonna switch to a full product search for this one to see more options. And I'm just going to pick this first one because I'm going to make changes on the details screen. Now I can click the Instruction Only checkbox up here in the upper right hand corner of the screen. I do see some warnings on my screen because PCCERX can't give me dose warnings for this type of prescription. A bunch of the fields disappear and I can pick just the dose form that I want and enter the instructions I want. and I'll specify how much to dispense. And I'm set. I'm able to enter exactly the instructions I want without all the automatic fields up top. Okay, so we just covered a lot of details about prescription tools in PCCERX. You aren't gonna need all these features very often. After you've been using PCCERX for a while, most of your prescriptions will happen in just a couple of clicks. Come back and watch this video anytime you'd like to review, dosing, or other adjustments, and of course, chat with your PCC client advocate. PCC can also help you adjust and customize many of these tools to match your prescribing workflow. There are a lot of cool customization options that can give you more power over dosing statements and how these tools work. We have a library of PCCERX videos and articles on learn.pcc.com. Stay tuned and let us know what you'd like to learn more about. Thanks for watching.